Hi, my name is James Jameson, and today we're talking about coaching tips. Do you ever want to give up coaching someone? The answer is no. Oftentimes, we want to believe that we can eventually make a difference. Sometimes it's our own ego that drives our persistence and determination. At CMOE, we advise coaches to follow up and be persistent a little longer than expected. Coaching takes patience, a lot of patience, but don't be unreasonable. Allow some time for the right decisions and actions to kick in. When dealing with policy, ethics, values, safety, or legal issues, explain the timeline to the coachee. That's not an ultimatum, just an explanation of the time sensitivity and an opportunity to create a time boundary. Remember to check in frequently with your coaches to see how they are doing and remind them of the time frame. If there is insufficient responsiveness or progress, this may indicate indifference or a lack of judgment, character, or integrity. When these signals arise, do a quick reality check. Have you correctly diagnosed the situation? Have you tried all of the coaching skills? Have you involved others in an appropriate way? If you answer yes to these questions, then you need to look at your next best option to a coaching solution. Some alternatives to coaching include discuss the issue with the coachee and ask for their recommendation or solution possibly redefining roles and responsibilities. Consult with your own manager and or your HR department. Administer and institute the appropriate consequences, both positive and negative. Look at different assignments for the coachee with a different leader, making sure to inform the new leader of your situation from your perspective. Explore with the coachee whether he or she is a good fit for the organization. Coaching takes time, energy, and patience. The bottom line is that you can't let coaching challenges pull you down. Remember that it takes two to tango, and influence does have its limits.